Hello there, uh, I'm actually going to talk about an, another important uh, question which you normally get asked about the earnest money. There's another multiple names of this uh, earnest money is also called as a good faith deposit or just simply a deposit. We're going to talk about that. Um, so before that, if you are first time at this channel, please uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, give your comments and share the video if you think one of your friend or family member may get benefited with this. Hello everyone, this is Neeraj Khanna. I am a local realtor in the GTA in Durham area. If you have any question, you can always reach out to me uh, via any social media platform, whatever you like. Uh, today we to talk about the earnest money or good faith deposit or simply a deposit, what it is. So, well, it is as, so when you are putting an offer on the property, uh, it's, it's you're actually telling the seller to take off your property off the market because you're committing to it. And that's what, and then you are putting some deposit towards that. Now, again, your deposit is safe as long as you're in the, within the due diligence period. So when it says due diligence period, there are a couple of contingencies or conditions you are included in the offer. So the journey on a property at either a condo or a freehold property it could be either on financing or it could be the home inspection or it could be on the status certificate well as long as you are within that period your money or your deposit is secure because it is sitting in either in the lawyer's interest account or in the brokerage interest account and if in case you are past your due diligence period and you already satisfied with the conditions or the contingencies you got a green signal from your banker or or your financial institution regarding your financing and your thumbs up from your uh, from home inspector as well and also if the status certificate also being your lawyer has done a, a, a thumbs up on that or you know then you are then your money is moved actually is it's, it's in the game so uh, earnest money is like sort of telling that your your skin is in the game you're you're putting the deposit now the question comes is uh, how much should be the deposit or the or the earnest money well there is no set rule for that however there is practices again we I have seen anything between one variation from one percent to like five percent in the market uh, like generally like the situation like that what we are seeing right now in Ontario anything between three to five percent is a good amount now that shows a seller that you are serious about the property now sometimes it actually the listing comes out on the name unless it comes out uh, they actually mention that the deposit needs to be five percent now in that situation which means they wanted to see some serious seriousness uh, uh, your seriousness they wanted to see there which means they wanted to see uh, the buyers those who are pre-qualified they have a good money in hand because uh, if, if they need anything an appraisal happens or uh, they have a little bit of uh, you know money they, they can put in the deal so the deal doesn't fall through having said that so uh, basically deposit is is you're telling the seller is to secure the, your property or take the property off the market because you are going to commit to this property or you like this property but in this situation in a multiple offer situation uh, like what we're seeing right now in Ontario a good deposit money could be anything between three to five percent depending upon if they mention anything five percent that's great if not then you wanted to make sure that you're actually giving a good uh, deposit so that shows a confidence to uh, the seller now I have seen also in the multiple situation that sometimes uh, that even if your price like a price offer price is good your closing is good but you still lose the offer because somebody actually else put a bigger much bigger deposit as compared to yours so having said that so make sure consult do your your homework very well so that when you go and put an offer you actually get the property what you're looking for hopefully this will help you i look forward to speaking with you next time have a great one